Dia orang support dari segi macam family, family ada yang datang tengok. Macam ayah ayah jadi helper. Ha, kira daripada situ boleh dapat semangat yang tinggi lah untuk race kali ni. Kira ayah banyak juga bantu. Ha, kadang-kadang memang berisi juga dengan ayah tapi okey lah. Sekarang dapat faham lah kenapa dia buat semua tu. Dia marah semua tahu sebab apa. Sebab ya dia nak kita berjaya. Terpaksa kena, kena tahan telinga lah. Introducing Shafiq Izariq, 14 years of age and one of the seven Malaysian riders in the Shell Advance Asia Talent Cup. Joining him is Hilmi Asman, another local rider who, like Shafiq, suffered disappointment last time out in Zuhai when he crashed. But this time he's prepared both mentally and physically to undertake the challenge ahead. fitness. <laughs> dan untuk main di sepang minggu ini ris. Target saya sepang minggu ni saya harap saya dapat top 5 untuk ris ni minggu ni. Dan Malaysia, a traditional motorcycling country. Plenty of eyes then on their promising young talents who inevitably are beginning to feel the pressure and emotion of racing running through their veins. Perasaan saya agak nervous juga untuk minggu ni ris dan saya harap minggu ni saya akan dapat buat terbaik dan untuk, untuk Malaysia dan saya cuba buat ni lah, terbaik lagi. Sepang ni saya agak kementar sikit sebab ramai yang datang tengok. Preparation over, now it's time for racing. Sepang International Circuit is the third uh, MotoGP circuit uh, behind Qatar and Japan. Um, it's a world-class circuit. Uh, we run both MotoGP and Formula One. Um, it's one of the best circuits in the world and they should uh, have a good time at uh, racing at this circuit. We have two races here. I think you all know what you have to do. You have to try your best, try not to crash the bike, try to get the points in the races, because it's important for the overall in the championship. Push, 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 not waiting, go. Thai rider Nakarina Tirupuvapat obtains the coveted pole position which will allow him to be in the top place on the grid for both race starts. Just behind him are the three Japanese riders who topped the championship. Without a doubt, high emotion is guaranteed at Sepang this weekend.
As predicted, the first race was thrilling and undecided right until the end of the very final lap. Kaito Toba won the race, closing the gap to championship leader Yuta Date. But all of the cheering on this particular day was for Malaysia's Shafiq Razol, who was transformed into a local hero as he took the chequered flag in second place. <laughs> Shafiq Izarik achieved his best result in the cup to date, while Asman took away valuable championship points. No time to relax though, in only a few hours the engines will roar again. I just try to get win the all races and see what is going on. Yuta Date, who has led the standing since winning in Qatar at the start of the season. Just 15 years old, he is the epitome of professionalism, discipline and technique. The secret to his high level of concentration? Unbreakable rhythm and tempo. Kaito Toba is 14 years of age and a strategist. A real calmness and calculating spirit are his winning tools. The youngest of the group is Ayuma Sasaki, pure raw talent and determination. The 13-year-old may be an extrovert and a joker, but he knows very well that to be a champion, he cannot have friends on the racetrack. Five to teacher. <laughs> In the course, I want, uh, of course I want win, and I think my heart is strong, so in the course, everybody is not friend, but yeah, in the, yeah, when I go, when I, when I playing with somebody, everybody is friend, and joking, play. Saki tried and succeeded. Not only did he achieve his first victory with a clear four-second lead over Toba, but he also made up for yesterday's crash, which had left him with zero points. Malaysia's Adam Noridin couldn't hide his emotion either, on the podium at his home circuit. Without doubt, this achievement gives his compatriots hope and inspiration, as this weekend they've witnessed two Malaysians breaking the all-Japanese victory routine. But, as always, the happiness of some is met by the disappointment of others. Yuta Date has seen his points lead reduced, having finished the second race in sixth position. With the standings tighter than ever, the Shell Advance Asia Talent Cup moves on into Japan, where Motegi will witness a true battle of its fresh motorcycle talents. The moment of truth is forever closer and closer.